So for economies, guys, okay, they definitely need to renegotiate a free trade agreement with European Union. Okay, now it is highly probable that a favorable trade agreement would be reached even after Brexit. Okay, because guys, there are two, uh, there are both sides in place. So UK and European Union. And there are also advantages for both sides in continuing a close commercial agreement. Okay. As I already said, 63% of Britain's good exports are linked to European Union membership. But guys, we are not still clear with this. UK will need to adopt Euro by year of 2020 and adopt certain legislation, okay? So guys, uh, you know, uh, well, the thing is, European Union is a huge entity. And all members of European Union who still didn't adopt Euro as their main currency would need to do that by the year 2020, okay? Also, legislation should be complete in accordance to European Union. And UK has its own legislation, legislation, okay? So what we could learn is that if UK is remain in European Union, they must adopt Euro and possibly drop the GBP. Uh, it, there are no clear consensus to that because some people uh, uh, and some uh, politicians were speculating that uh, actually uh, UK is allowed to, even if they stay in European Union, they're allowed to uh, remain on GBP. But it's not official, it's not that clear because uh, we still see that uh, uh, GBP should be dropped in favor of Europe by year of 2020. On, now, on the flip side, if we see Brexit, UK will definitely keep GBP. That is for sure. There is no speculation and legislation, but will run the risk of losing population, guys, because there are a lot of people with European passports currently residing in UK. So what can happen is, in turn, UK has said prices may drop and there is the risk that London may no longer be the financial hub of Europe. Now, we could see, guys, a, a, a funding deficit because UK would lose access to ECB project funds, okay? But it's, it's not that certain, guys, okay? It's not that certain. UK has said prices may drop, that is... Well, I, I think that is for certain for initial impact. Additional costs for exporters also. And definitely, definitely foreign investments will be dependable on trade agreements. So that is why I'm saying it is highly probable that they should reach a favorable trade ag agreement, guys. Okay? So let me tell you, guys, the benefits of being in European Union are smaller than they were a few decades ago, okay? Definitely smaller. And if we saw a Brexit like, if we'd seen a Brexit like 10 years ago, it would have been a far bigger deal. So the effects of Brexit will vary across sectors, various sectors that I have mentioned it, okay? Okay, this is also very important. Additional cost for exporters, okay? Because guys, if they comply with European Union's rules of origin, okay? It's different if they were outside the single market, okay? In addition, there are fears that exporters would be left high and dry the day after the Brexit, okay? But let me tell you guys, it's not that uh, it's not like that because under the Lisbon Treaty, a country that leaves the Re European Union has two years in which to negotiate a withdrawal agreement. So it will, uh, a lot of analysts are saying that uh, there will be some additional cost, okay, for exporters. It may be, but don't forget that because of Lisbon Treaty, a country which leaves European Union has still two years to negotiate a withdrawal agreement. So 
Well, this is also uncertain, and UK will have the time to uh, for some preparations. Okay. Now, uh, as I say, foreign investments will be dependable on trade agreements. Okay, but still, guys, if it happens. Uh, UK could use newfound freedom to negotiate its own trading arrangements to good effects. Why I said funding deficit is uncertain? Because, guys, uh, I doubt there will be that there will be a funding deficit. Currently, UK pays far more in than what they get back. It's like 55 million per day of which only a third is returned to UK. And that also has conditions attached telling UK where they need to spend it. Additionally, UK has a big trade surplus with European Union. And they sell far more than they actually buy. So it's not Britain that will lose from a Brexit. It's, I think, European Union as a whole. Well, if Brexit, they will be clear to trade with the rest of the world on their own terms. Think about it also, guys.